this these are lineups that I would expect to see on kind of like any stage. And I'm interested to see, I think a lot of kind of pressure has got to go. On the wings now, but this is 4,000 health at this point. Keto's in the area though. Oh, he's still so nice! steal from Keto! They get him, they do take it away. They might even lose this fight, but the Baron is on their health going into this match. And just, we're back to a 1v1 in top lane. Make that a 2v1 as Zhao Yu joins in. And that should just be a kill. Landstar really not looking to get great healthy, but the he's Jinx safe. Rocket, as always, is coming in clutch for SSG. Landstar stays alive. Zhao Yu's health is rocketing down to a point. Jackie Love does finally help and pick up that Wait, kill. Wait, dead! Oh, that's another kill on Wellis. Jackie Love as well is left high and dry. Jamie is finding so much advantage. This get excited and while you're bigger fight as well. There goes Zach. There goes Kayla. G destroy the Nexus. I've got a very good idea. A very solid thought process that I think UCL might be banning a certain crazed Zornite from the next game. It's definitely a possibility as SSG turn around and say UCL undefeated no more. And go 101 in the scene to move around with Zoyed, maybe KKE, and get yourself a lead. If you can get to that four stack threshold, you are looking very, very strong. A few more stacks by landing a Q on a couple of the enemy lanes. Yeah, it. Okay. Full passive stacks, not going to result in anything for now, I don't think. Double flash? I don't know if it was necessary. You've got Keto here. Ready and waiting. This could just be a dive as the mark goes back onto it Mordecai. Definitely will be. Tries to set the mark on Mordecai, but I don't think it's going to take hold until he's already dead. Oh, never mind. Does pop that little bit of armor there. Try the tower falls. Here goes the Nexus. Zoyed unfortunately hasn't got too much to do with it. UCL takes game two and evens this out to being one. -1. Yeah, they definitely could. The, the thing that was worrying about me is that, like, obviously. Don't get hooked is the answer to what I'm about to say. Or use your E, but it's got a big cooldown. To save. James yeah, we will. A special caught. spike gets going. That's a big bit of damage. And Wellis falls. That dragon's looking really, really low as Keto floats right next to it. That should just be a stolen. That is a stolen dragon. And SSG is being punished a little bit for it as UCL is mining their manners, is backpedaling, is keeping their lower members of their team alive and well. But Landstar manages to get out while Chen Meng is Chao Meng is just really stuck at this low health, but thriving nonetheless. No healing items in sight, nothing like that. That's a shutdown going to Jamie. This is how we saw game one begin to pivot the other way. Keto as well finds a kill on Gordon C. All that's left to fight another day is is able to survive the death run, but now the Baron started up by UCL, and nobody from SSG is in a position to fight this. TP coming in from Landstar, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, surely this is just a fallen dragon for UCL. That's uh, Keto as well missing a spear, so they don't have an easy engage. But the team fight fully breaks out. That's a double, double. kill going to Landstar. Triple. Make that three. Is that almost four? No, it isn't. It does get taken by Keto, but that is still a full team ace. Because with Aatrox doing that, you have now forced all that pressure to be Keto and Zoya have to stop the game from being lost. And I don't know if they can do it as the two of them, as that should be another tower falling. And Landstar still isn't turning around. They are so confident that this Aatrox can finish the game before the six members so of UCL reset. can. Finally got the reset. Yeah, there we go. Alive. It is working. Wait, that's three. That's four. Make it a Pentazoid. Pen Show us the first Pentazoid of the day. Chasing Gordon out of the fray. And there's still a split push. That's the Penta kill. Zoyed was waiting on that death timer. We weren't paying attention to the left of the screen. Landstar was. SSG was in full control. That is a broken Nexus. GG's. That one goes all the way round. And I, they can feel it. They can feel it. That was insane. So what happened there? If they commit to face Landstar and you're on Darius and you've got that like move speed buff, you really want to go in. Someone's like already hit with like the full hemorrhage stacks and then Nika roots you, Talia pushes you away, Nautilus goes in, like... You I just get spotted here by Keto. They're, they're dancing around. They're so close to seeing each other. But now they definitely know that each other are there. This fight is fully broken out. Landstar has to push in. Hemorrhage fully bleeding and also stacking up on that Talia as well. Double kill goes to Landstar. That's the smite that Xiaohu does manage to claim for themselves. And a lovely little ward dash to get out of the situation. Jackie Love. 
Shutdown is massive. There goes that Jinx. That bounty's been claimed. Nico as well finds the route, tries to help Wellis get out, but can't quite secure it. You're now stuck with an entire team running out. You no flash to see, so you simply try and get a kill on the way down because you know that your fate is sealed. The gold just full control over this top side jungle of SSGs, but Lanster. Yeah, Lanstar is finding some work. Stand in. And oh my god, didn't even need the hemorrhage sacks. Just let rip with an O and it did so much damage. Zoyan as well picks up some blood. The Nico does manage to respond a little bit, but at the detriment of our team, by going in the other direction, everyone was left at the mercy of Cassidin of the Void. Uh, so Gordon C is kind of left on their own to run away, hoping maybe for an execution from the tower. You're definitely hoping for an execution from the tower here. And Alero just basically denying them from even a big pop any blossom. kind of back. Yeah, the pop blossom. Strength and more damage. Zohu is finally filling that carry position with expertise. Landstar goes down. You've got no more defense, really. KKE has to kind of walk in and try and find something. But so both, watching both your teams vanish from um, in amongst the mess, Xiao Meng finds everything they could possibly want and then more. Zoyed and a KKE left as the only two fighting to do anything about their base and Zoyed as well on the complete wrong side of UCL for KKE to do anything about it. These towers are crumbling, the walls are falling down, the players as well are dropping. KKE has to pop an ult, has to do something but just can't. Zoyed is the last soldier left that in a fight to stay alive, in a battle that it's a very volatile high damage game the only thing that was preventing that from being the case was the renekton on the table jow who there I Sorry, it now it moving did yeah oh that's a really really good engage oh no oh the kasante yoinking you away from your janna your support is left in the dust while your health gets shredded but it doesn't matter the kasante gets reversed on there we go ucl is falling to ssg on the fight that they initiated ucl is Falling once again isn't going to happen so long as Landstar isn't kind of getting involved in the fight. This dragon being attacked. I think I think you're right. I think SSG wants to be a perfect game, so they are going to want to contest this. There we go. Landstar pops that ult, goes in. Is this going to be a 1v5? It doesn't look like it because SSG is starting to join them in the damage, but they're actually focusing the dragon, and that is a stolen dragon. Uh, is no, stolen, sorry. That is by Lee Sin. That's a drop Lee Sin ult. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. The D even though they're going for... I want to say, KKE is playing mad aggressive for a jab. Yeah. But already that world growth has been popped again. And now it might just be death. Massive kill! K Kito being ready to go in at a drop of a hat. And same being backed up by that Jinx, who's going to get tons more damage. Going straight into all out. Xiao Meng sacrificing that defense. Don't know if that was even the call there. And this uh, Hui goes in, finds a pickup of KKE. But uh, Jin Yi... KKE, Zoya, everyone is here and they're happy to play this game with you every day of the week. That's an ace. UCL falls along with their Nexus. 3 2 to SSG, your NSC Grand Final Insomnia Champions. And they've done it in such a clean fashion. Absolutely insane from SSG coming forwards here.